four identical particles each of mass m and charge q are kept at the four corners of a square of length n now what to find out find the final velocity velocity or speed of these particles after setting them free read the question once more for identical particles each of mass m and charge q are kept at the four corners of a square of length l find the final velocity of these particles after setting them free so please try for a minute and mute your video i mean pause your video and solve the question hope you have taken enough time for uh, doing the problem now let me discuss it let's read the question so whenever you get a question the first and the most important thing you have to understand is understand the question or what you have to do is understand the question so often everyone says physics is a difficult subject only because you are not able to understand the situation or visualize the problem so what i will do now is i will give a problem question and i will now draw a figure to represent them represent the situation for equal charges q place at the corners of a square of side l initially they are held otherwise they will not remain here they will move apart because of mutual repulsion right now what happens once i release them this will move in this direction because this experience a force in this direction this will experience a force in this direction this will experience a force in this direction this will experience a force in this direction along the diagonal directions each charge will experience a force so they will move apart and not go where will it go they will go to that separation such that there is no interaction between them and in this case one more thing that we are doing is that we are neglecting gravitational interaction too gravitational interaction is neglected here so we are only considering the electrostatic force between the charges neglect gravitational force then you may be asking me a question why should we neglect gravitational force the answer is very simple electrostatic force is much much stronger than gravitational force that's the reason electrostatic force is much much stronger than gravitational force so look at the question now they are asked to find out final velocity how to tackle this question i got the figure velocity you can use two methods either to write the force and force the power on the particle and then finding the acceleration and once we get the acceleration find the uh, velocity unfortunately i don't know how to do in that method the second one is to use the energy conservation i think that is going to be the easier method here force is going to write i don't know how to take forces i'm sorry in using some malayalam in between so we will use energy conservation you have learned this in one of the examples of ncrt so initially the particles are at rest so what is the initial kinetic energy zero initial kinetic energy is zero then what tells it will have it will have an initial potential energy u stands for potential energy it will have an initial potential energy i hope this you have seen in one of the examples of ncrt if my information is correct it is ncrt example number 2.4 what is the initial potential energy of the system initial potential energy of the system let's tell me if this is a pair of charges with separation l their mutual potential energy is k q square by l 
How many such pairs are there? Four such pairs are there. So it is four kq squared by L. Pair means two charges separated by distance L. One, two, three and four pairs are there with the separation L. So their mutual potential energy is four kq squared by L. Then the next pair is diagonal pairs. Diagonal pairs are there. So the mutual potential energy is 2 kq square divided by what is this length? Root 2 L. This is root 2 L. That means kq square by L I can take common factor. Then what will be there in the bracket? 4 plus 2 by root 2. What is 2 by root 2? It is root 2. Hope it is clear. This is the initial, so that means initial mechanical energy of the system is the sum of the kinetic energy plus and potential energy. Initial kinetic energy is zero. Initial potential energy is this much. So I will say this is root 2 in the I mean, taking the value of root 2 as 1.4. This will be 5.4 kq square by L. Now the question we are asked to find out is final velocity final velocity is what we are asked to find out is it now final velocity final velocity we need to get so final velocity means when 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 the force between each charge is zero the velocity when forces between the charges is equal to zero is what is called a final velocity because then only the acceleration is equal to zero and the velocity becomes steady when the velocity of the charges will become steady the velocity will be steady when the force on each charge is zero. The velocity will be steady when force on each charge is zero. When will be force zero? When there is no interaction between any of these charges. When will the interaction uh, vanishes? When charges are at infinite separation. The interaction vanishes when the charges are at infinite separation the separation between the charges is infinity that means final potential energy is equal to zero final potential energy is equal to zero final potential energy is equal to zero and final kinetic energy is equal to half as each charge experience the same magnitude of force half into total mass of the system is 4m and this is 4mv squared. This will cancel, this is 2. That means the final energy of the system, final energy of the system. So you may be asking me questions are you have to take only one particle at a time now. That is not the case. You have to take, I said initial energy of the system. I said final energy of the system. System comprises of what? Charges, which has got a mass, yeah. So initial energy of the system is this much. Final energy of the system is 2 mv square. What is the relation between initial energy and final energy? Electrostatic force is a conservative force what is the relation between these two energies this is a first energy this is a second energy what is the relation between these two energies what is the relation between these two energies may i wipe it off please with your permission the relation between these two energies are very equal is it not that means 2 mv square is equal to 5.4 kq square by L or v, v square is equal to 5.4 divided by 2m into kq square by L. 5.4 divided by 2 is 2.7 that gives me V is equal to square root of 2.7 kq square by 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 M L. Thus, this is the answer to our question. Hope you understand the solution.